Hello, this is Patrick Posey, brand ambassador at the all-new Porsche Ontario, and today we're going to be doing a walk-around demonstration of the 2021 Porsche Taycan. Now as we begin our demonstration today, we'll go ahead and take a look at the front end features of this new Taycan. To begin, this car has been finished in our black paint scheme, and as per the front, as usual, you'll see the Porsche crest here on the hood. This car will have the optional surround view, which is part of your premium package, which will get you a camera in the front, on either driver's side mirror or passenger side mirror, and the rear camera as well. The car will also have front sensors, and these will be the LED headlights, including Porsche design light system. You'll have four points here and the center bulb as well. You'll notice this brake duct here, which will actually force air to cool the brakes as you're driving the vehicle itself. This car will also have the keyless entry, not only for the doors, but for the front trunk area of the car. Simply wave your hand right underneath the Porsche logo and it will pop the hood. Pull the lever and it will open up entirely. The access you'll have underneath the hood of the car will be to fill the washer fluid or brake fluid and also the front trunk space. Now, as we move along to the passenger side of the car, we'll work our way from the front to the rear end of the car. These will be the 20 inch Taycan aero wheels finished in black and silver, along with the black and silver Porsche crest within. Now up on the quarter panel, you'll notice the charging area. Simply press on the flap and it will open up. The passenger side of the car will allow for the fast charging, which you can simply drop down here. Now you can use a level one and two charger as well. To close, simply lift up and press on the flap to close. As we move back, this will be part of that surround view I mentioned earlier, where this is the passenger side camera. This car will also have an elevated door handle for entry. And as you move on back, the car will also have a frameless window design as per the 911. Now performance wise, this Taycan will feature the 402 horsepower permanent synchronous motor matched at the 79.2 kilowatt performance battery. The driving range of this Taycan will be about 200 to 230 miles. Zero to 60 time is about 5.1 seconds. Now as we keep moving along, we'll take a look at some of the rear end aspects of this car. You'll notice the end-to-end -end taillights with the Porsche logo within. The badge designation in this car has been finished in high gloss silver. There are also four sensors in the back of the vehicle, as well as the rear view camera underneath. To open the trunk of this car, simply press the button at the rear, and the power lift gate will do the rest. There's the charging equipment bag in the back of the vehicle itself, and to close the trunk, simply press the button on the left, and it will close. Now here we are at the back seat of the Taycan. This particular model will feature the two plus one rear seating to where you get the middle seat in the back of the car. Also, the rear amenity will feature two vents as well as two USB-C ports right underneath the middle seat of the car. It will also feature a locking center console for the cup holders, which can fold and click right back into place. The upholstery in the vehicles are limestone beige and black, and I have moved the front seat up to accommodate a six foot plus individual to which I am sitting comfortably behind myself. Now here we are at the driver's seat of the new Taycan. Now starting at the steering wheel area, it will be a telescoping option. Simply lift underneath and it will pull towards you, push away and lift up or down. On the left hand side of the steering column will be the blinker stock as well as the cruise control. And on the right hand side will be the windshield wipers. Now in the center of course will be the horn and on the right hand side you'll be able to answer the calls as they come in and on the left will be for volume control. Now directly behind the steering wheel will be the digital gauge cluster. On the left hand side will be the headlight controls which are normally set to automatic. On the left hand side you'll notice the analog gauge and the center will be the digital speedometer and on the right hand side will be an interchangeable gauge that can be set to have trip information or charging capability of the car. Right at the very bottom, right over the steering wheel, will be the driving range or charge range of the vehicle itself. On the left hand side, you'll notice the red brake, which will be automatically set every time the car is put in park. And directly below that will be the transmission. Now the large P button will be for parking the vehicle. Simply put your foot on the brake, push straight down to put the car in drive, up once more to put it in neutral, and all the way up to put it in reverse, to which you'll be able to see the rear camera. Being that this car has the optional surround view, on the left will show you the left and right mirrors as well as the front camera of the vehicle itself. Once again to park, simply press the P button and it will park and engage that parking brake. 
Now in the center console will be the updated Porsche communication management system. Not only will it control your navigation and media displays of the car, but pressing down once more will take you into the car menu. Now under the drive, you'll be able to come in here and adjust to normal mode, range mode, or the sport mode of the vehicle. Naturally, each range will get you a farther or shorter range depending on how aggressive you're driving the vehicle. Apart from that will be chassis control, battery recuperation, and the optional sport electric sound. Now, apart from the drive menu, there is the assist menu to where you can have the basic assist or park assist turn off and on in the car itself. This vehicle has the optional lane change assist and lane keep assist, which have been indicated here that they are on and active in the vehicle. Once more over will be the trip where you can adjust the trip odometer of the car. And lastly will be the comfort to where you can adjust the ambient lighting, driver or passenger seats or comfort entry options in the car itself. Now, as we come back to the main screen of the Porsche communication management system, a couple of things to notate down here will be the air conditioning, which will be controlled down here by the center display and charging. When you press on the charging, it will indicate if the car has been plugged in or not. Currently, this vehicle is not plugged in, but it will show you a battery percentage and mileage range in the vehicle on the right hand side. Now, as we get back to the main screen of the Porsche communication management system, directly next to charging will be air conditioning. Once pressed upon, you'll be able to come in here and adjust the ventilation in the vehicle from diffused, focused, or individual settings. When indicated in blue means that the system will be active. In this case, the air conditioning is on and running. Now, once we get your Porsche ID set up, we'll be able to add your information to the car itself. Currently, we're under the guest function, but once you press in, you'll be able to see accounts, press on that, and you'll be able to add your new Porsche account to the vehicle. Now, every new Taycan will come with three years of charging through Electrify America. Directly below the Porsche communication management system will be the digital control display. Not only will you be able to control the front and rear defrost functions of the vehicle, but the dual zone climate as well. Now, you can press the synchronize in here to make it one single zone within the car. On the left hand side will be the temperature and on the right hand side will be the fan speed. This car has the optional heated seats as well as seat ventilation. On the left will be the heated seats and directly next to it will be the ventilated seats. Moving down from here will be the front and rear trunk openings for the car. Press the X on the top right to get rid of that screen. And below that will be the current charge level of the car. On the left will show you the battery percentage and on the right will show you the driving range of the vehicle. Press the X in the top right to get rid of that screen. Directly below will be the park assist, which will illuminate back on the Porsche communication management system, which will show the rear camera and if equipped, the surround view option. Press the X in the top left to get rid of that screen. Next to that will be the sport function, which will give you some more aggressive drivability in the vehicle. This will turn off the center control. And on the right hand side will be the volume control. Plus we'll turn the volume up and minus will turn the volume down. Thank you for taking the time to watch our demonstration of the brand new 2021 Porsche Taycan. If you like the content that you saw, please be sure to like and subscribe as we're always putting out new videos. Once again, my name is Patrick Posey, brand ambassador at the all new Porsche Ontario, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you again.